Thank you for tuning in to this series of videos of the Solix versus the Helix. Man, it's been fun. And man, I have learned a lot of things about what's packed in these units. I thought I knew a lot. I learned a lot more myself. Uh, I hope it's helped you make a better buying decision for your needs. Um, it's all about what you need and how you want it, the unit to own and operate. And today is going to be my last segment in this series. What we're going to discuss today is NEMA 2000. NEMA 2000 is a data transmission network that allows your, for example, your outboard motor data to be displayed on your unit. You can also get other things like wind speed, uh, altimeter, there's a lot of other gauges and stuff that you can add to your network to be displayed with NEMA 2000. But basically today we're going to talk about NEMA 2000 connection with your outboard motor. If you've watched my previous videos, I showed you how to, to hook the Solix up and I've showed a video on how to hook the Onyx or the Helix up. Now we're going to talk about what is the differences between the two units. Besides if you watch that video, the Hummingbird Solix is basically direct connect to a network. All you have to have is a NEMA 2000 cable from your NEMA 2000 backbone directly to the back of the unit. Where the Hummingbird Helix required that, that Hummingbird black box to read data off of it. The, NEMA, the Solix is a direct connect unit. It is fully compatible. Uh, it can actually share data onto that NEMA 2000 network. What I'm going to do is show you a few differences and help you make a better educated so what's decision. what's truly different between the Solix NEMA 2000 and the Helix NEMA 2000? Well, one of the first things we'll notice is the customization of the screen. If you watched the Solix install video, I went into customizing uh, the data that is displayed in the NEMA 2000 gauge view compared to the Helix. The Helix you can change data, but not to the extent of the Hummin of the Solix series. Basically, you hit your menu. You'll come over here to the gear, which is your setup menu, and you're going to come down to readouts. Select readouts. Digital readouts is your your data overlays for your Hummingbird, but select readouts is your data for the NEMA 2000. This shows you your gauge display and what you can do. Um, you can change some selected readouts through the use the left and right arrow. It all depends on what kind of gauges you have on your screen. Like here we've got fuel, this is our tack, our RPM number, our air temperature, speed over ground, engine temperature, oil temperature. This is your course over ground, which is a compass heading. And then you have speed through water. Those are changeable with the Helix. There's limited things you can change. But with the Solix, there's a multitude of changes and options and data that you can read. For example, like we've got our trip today, our engine trim, our engine temperature, our oil pressure, our fuel economy, speed over ground, RPMs, hours are displayed here, engine temperature, fuel rate, and the percentage of fuel. That is all data that uh, is readable from the NEMA 2000 network. The other thing is both systems, if hooked to the Ethernet, like a Solix hooked to the Ethernet, will actually share to the front to that Onyx that's up there. Onyx and Solix are going to operate the same. So uh, if you have two Solixes, you can share the data between them. If you buy one NEMA 2000 back bu black box, hook it to the Ethernet network, you can share between all your Helix units, or Helix and Core, Core series, which is your 800, 900, and 1100 series. That's going to be a lot of it. One of the big chain things for me is the ability to go to views. You can actually do a split screen. Here I'm showing gauges over mapping. That would be a great view if you're running down the lake. You can look at the map and the gauges. You've got the customization between your views. 
We'll actually go to New View. I haven't tried a three-way. A three-way we can do it. And New View. We'll go to a four-way. We're allowed to do four different views. Now you're not going to get as much data, but you will be able to edit that data in there. So you've got multiple ways to view and share your NEMA 2000 data. That's one thing with the Solix and the Onyx series. That's one thing with the Solix. You can do it full screen, two split, three split, or four split screen. With the Hummingbird Helix, you're forced to utilize the whole screen either in the single gauge view, the dual gauge view, or the numbers view. You cannot share this you cannot split screen NEMA 2000 data. So you're going to utilize your whole unit data screen with NEMA 2000 data versus the Humminbird Solix. You'll be able to split it out. Besides, it's going to be less cost to connect to the network with the Solix versus the Helix. With the One thing about the Solix, if you want to come in here, edit your instruments, you can come in here, you can tap on it, you can do the data type. You got multitudes of data that you can that you can display on your unit. You actually have data limits that you can set up. Uh, you can use a full screen. You can use that partial screen. It's very customizable for the data that you need to help you navigate, get more out of your boating experience, and enjoy your time on the water. I hope that helped you learn a little bit more. Uh, one of the last differences between the Helix and Solix that I can come up with, if I think of other ones or you comment, uh, I, will, I will continue the series to help you all out. I hope that helped you learn a lot more about the NEMA 2000 networking and the, and the, the differences between the Solix and the Helix series. There's a, there's a few differences. Both of them are going to dis display the data. It's how you want to display it and what you want to do and how you want to grow your NEMA 2000 network that's going to be part of the differences. I really appreciate everyone that has commented, liked, shared, and subscribed to this video series. It's been a fun series. I've learned a lot. It's a tough decision out there what unit is best for you. It's what fits your budget and your, fits your needs. I mean to me, it's like flipping a coin. Heads you win, tails you win also with Humminbird. You can flip the coin, make your call, get the best unit for you. That is the most important thing and best advice I can give you. If it's the Humminbird Helix, awesome unit. Humminbird Solix, awesome unit. Both of them will, will help you out on the water and enjoy the time on the water. Thank you for tuning in, and I appreciate you watching this video series, and I hope it helped you get more, help you make the best educated buying decision for your needs. You can't go wrong with Humminbird. It's simply, clearly better.